What's happening guys, Celtic CC here. So the update's gone live on Android and first thing to take note of is that nothing's been done with superior traits, which honestly is a little bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping they would at least, you know, bring a system out where you could lock the individual individual traits in. But nothing's been done with it, so the system's staying exactly the same as it is. So that is what it is. Um we've had this like chat screen bar. Which um, put at the bottom of the screen, which is kind of annoying actually. It's just really obnoxious. It's just cluttering the screen up a bit. Um, you see there, I got no chat going at the at the moment. If you were going to settings, I'd just switch it so it's just a guild, because if you look at it here, like it's so slow. Um, it doesn't work. It's just this is running so slowly that it's not keeping up with what's going on there. So I'm assuming this is global. Everyone's seeing the same messages, and you're probably seeing messages here that were posted yesterday seeing how slow this is going um if you don't want it just take it off it takes a little while to load up and just put it on the guild and you can have an empty bar then because it just gets a bit annoying like you know i'm sick of seeing people you know looking for women that's that seems to be a lot of lots going on with it so um yeah kind of crap you know I, i've seen a lot of posts of people saying that it's just rubbish and you know they don't seem to like it very much so, but it is what it is. So let's go through the um, the update details. So we've had two new heroes, which, you know, as happened before, I think it was Plant Warrior and Rosaline that were brought out a while back. And these two heroes are the same kind of thing. So we got Queen B, uh, Queen Wasp, sorry, Higher with Gems, and Hotshot is official events. So let's have a look at the heroes then. So Hotshot, level 13. That's what he looks like evolved. Which is kind of good actually, looks pretty cool. So, run and gun. Um, first of all, is HP is very low, very low actually. And um, compare it to Phobos, he's actually lower than Phobos. So, there's a chance he could be very squishy. But his attack's very decent. You see, there it's quite decent attack, he attacks fast as well. So, deals true damage, total in 70. I'm assuming true damage is the same as the Virica, where it um, ignores um, damage um, reduction. So deals true damage, totaling 1740% attack, which is very strong, to enemy targets within an arc, which was an AoE kind of thing. This damage can spread across a max of three targets within range. Also removes buffs from the targets, which is good. That receive damage from the skill. The next 3.5 seconds deals true damage equal to 115% attack to three random enemy targets within an arc every 0.25 seconds. It's getting a bit cluttered with the information here there. Um, Cool down four sec on this hero take 65% less damage and immune to paralyze and stun. Paralyze is quite interesting because that means he's he's immune to um, Cosmo, I think. When hero attacks, he inflicts paralyze for 1.5 seconds and deals 400% attack damage to his target and recovers HP equal to 45% of the damage dealt. So he's a self healer and he looks like a total damage beast. Um, obviously, a lot will depend on what his procs like with regards to like being attracted by troops, but with him being an official vent hero, he's probably going to be very strong. It certainly looks like he's going to be a strong hero. Um, Queen Wasp. Let's have a look at the in evolved form, okay. Um, they've gone back to cutesy with this one. She kind of looks a bit stupid, really, but okay. Um, Hail the Queen deals 550% attack damage to enemy targets in front. I don't know why it says in front. Then raises their damage received by 30% and reduces their healing received by 100% for 4 seconds. So, um, yeah, that's quite... Quite powerful, actually, you know, raising damage received and um, reducing their healing received is basically malaise. So she's basically a built-in malaise. Um, also increases the accuracy of up to 10 nearby friend friendly heroes. 10 is quite strong. Uh, by 40% for 4 seconds. This buff cannot be removed. Cool down 5 seconds. This hero is immune to silence and conditions from calamity. When this hero is attacked, she grants 70% damage reduction to two friendly heroes with the lowest HP for 5 seconds. So she sounds quite good to me. Definitely, you know, um, that's always quite strong when you can re uh, raise the damage received and reducing healing by 100%, that means she's a malaise hero and increasing accuracy as well. Um, so she's going to be a very good support hero, you know, all that's quite good. So I can see her being um, potentially quite good on the base. You see there, HP is quite strong, um, attacks, uh, all right, she does attack a bit slow, like, but... Um, yeah, I can see it being quite strong with that. Um, raising accuracy is a, a big thing, definitely. So we've got a new enchantment, Hyper Strength. So we'll have a look at that. So Hyper Strength. At level... F we'll take it up to... I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll look at level 5, because not everyone's going to go up to level 7. Right. 
So raises this hero's attack by 35% and energy regain rate by 40% during battle. So it's a bit like a nimble kind of thing. Um, well, apart from there's no dodge regain. Um, I don't rate it that highly, to tell you the truth. You know, I, it's all right, I guess. Nothing special. I wouldn't be, you know, going nuts trying to get that on my heroes, really. Okay, so third on there, we have the pet system expansion. New Super Pet, Dire Wolfin, Mutant Dire Wolfin, and Radiant Hawk, Mutant Radiant Hawk. Um, I won't go into too much detail with the pets. You've probably all seen them by now and had a look at them. Um, it's like, it's all right and everything. I mean, it's, there's a lot more to it with regards to getting them. You've got to have, like, you know, these essences which you can get in certain things. And uh, the pets themselves are quite strong. You know, and you can... Um, I mean, this is expensive. Like, you can roll gems, lock them in. See there, I got a full 100% attack, so I'd be locking that in. And, if, and then if I, I wanted to roll, it cost me 400 gems. So that's quite expensive. I don't think I'll bother until the hero, the, the pets are a little bit stronger. Like, you know, as they are, they're kind of a bit weak. You know, how pets are. You, you've got to raise the levels up and everything. I ne I never get that excited about pets. They are, it is what it is. It's just, you know, okay, stronger pets. You know, I won't, I won't bother going through what they do and everything. You, you'll know by now. Um, they look okay, like, but, you know, it's going to take a while to level them up. I certainly wouldn't be putting them on any of my main uh, heroes right now because I just haven't got them leveled up high enough. But, you know, super pets, I guess that's the road they're going down and, you know, with the um, roll, gem rolling system put in place, it's another money grab. So, you know, so you got new quest types regarding insignia, equipment and destiny. So far, what I've seen is you've got to um, put a team out to activate a certain warden. It can get annoying if it's not, you know, the warden you've got on your, on your main team. Um, my biggest tip for that is do it in expeditions. It still works in expeditions, like, you know. So, you know, I mean, if you've got, if your main team's like a brawler team and you need a, um, what's, what's the... Um, Oracle one or something like that, then you can just go and put all the Oracle heroes in the expeditions, do it that way. So um, that's much, much easier way of doing it. So new hero skins, Glam Fighter, Queen Wasp, Hotshot and Bogeyman. Okay, so Hotshot's one, Ominous Outlaw. Um, I like that skin. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Queen Wasp one stops at being a wasp and, you know, yeah, it's quite sexy. So yeah, you know, I might be happy putting that skin on there. Bogeyman will be down here. So that's new Bogeyman one, which is kind of cool. I like the design of that. Um, there's a lot more going on with the than the other one. Um, so that's cool, you know. So happy days. Okay, so we got new team dungeons and team here be monster stages, Lonely Sea 2 and Wayne and Rift 2. So people have obviously been doing okay in the first ones and they've had to bring out second ones. I haven't really been doing much of um, Lonely Sea and Wayne and Rift because... Um, it's difficult to do with randoms. It's kind of a waste of time. But I'm sure it'll, um, it'll get better eventually with time. So adjustments, team dun team dungeons and team here be monstered, added an add friend button in matchmaking interface, which is, you know, it, that's good. That's, um, that's a help, definitely. Adjusted lost realm rewards. Right. Now, this is quite a big part of this update, which um, it's got to be said, like, you know, some people are going to really like this and it's going to make them want to do Lost Realm a lot more because these spawning agents and pet essences are coming out a lot. Other people are going to hate this and they're going to see this as a massive nerf to, to Lost Realm if they were already appreciating the rewards in Lost Realm and especially relying on, you know, like insignia bags because it means you're getting a lot less insignia bags, a lot less, you know, like I, I, I haven't seen a gold key for a while, things like blue blue uh, crystal bags and, you know, the the other crests and everything. And these this super pet stuff's coming out a lot, so I mean, probably overall, it's it's probably a, a good idea, you know, to have this update because I think I think on the majority people don't do a lot of lost realms, and this will make them want to do lost realms more. But it's got to be said, you know, we only just had an adjustment to the lost realm rewards quite recently, so to have it changed yet again, it's just you know, I mean, things move in this game so quickly, like you know, I mean, maybe there was a better way they could have giving us these spawning agents and pet, pet essences. You know, I'm kind of sat on the fence with it. It's like, it is what it is. It's like, you know, um, I don't really need the insignia bags too much from Lost Realms. So I, I'm kind of okay with it, I guess. But I, they can't, there was gonna, there's going to be people that are going to, you know, not like it, definitely. 
no day about it. So adjusted team here be monsters, normal ro- mode rewards, main they drop spawning agents and super pet skill books. Um, I haven't seen any come yet from doing sweeps, so I don't know what's going on with that. Just a team dungeons, lonely sea rewards, may they drop hotshot soul stones, which is fine, I guess, you know. And of course, the increased maximum slots in the heroes altered by two, because you've had two new heroes, and more 10 more wear ace space, which is definitely needed because that the new um the new pet, super pet thing is taking up more wear ace space. Okay, so on the whole then, yes, um, Update wise, a pretty mediocre update. I mean, two new heroes. Um, um, they both look half de- half decent, at least. Like definitely, uh, the super pets are what they are. I'm not really getting too excited about them. You know, it's gonna take a while to level them up, and um, you know, I'm, I'll never get that excited by pets. I don't really care too much. I don't like the fact you got to roll gems for it as well. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Like you know, um, the lost realm reward adjustment is gonna be good for some people, bad for others. But it's, you know, I think it's just a indication of like you know how the developers feel like they always got to be you know changing the game and bringing out something update wise and you know the lost realm rewards were adjusted like a couple of months ago I think you know and um, they were improved and now they've been changed again like you know so it's just the way it is. This chat screen bar is bollocks. They need to get rid of it. It just doesn't work. It's too slow. It doesn't even show all the messages anyway. No one wants to be reading, you know, some dickhead going on about, oh, does some girl want to have RP sex with me, which is what keeps coming up and stuff. So if it's pissing you off, just switch it to guild chat. That's what I've done on all my accounts because it was just getting on my nerves. It just doesn't work anyway. It's too damn slow. So you just need to scrap this. I, I, I don't know why they brought this out. It's just rubbish. It just clutters the screen up and everything. Um, you know, uh, what else did we have? The heroes, yeah, great. Skins, nice. Um... Yeah, it, it, an all right update. They haven't done anything to mess the game up too much. You know, it's, it's not like I'm going to be doing a separate video ranting about anything this time. It's, you know, uh, nothing ga- game damaging like the superior traits. Um, it's a shame the superior traits didn't have an adjustment so that you could at least lock them in. Uh, so it looks like that's staying the same. That is what it is. So, yeah, on the whole, like, you know, update wise, just glad they haven't fucked the game up too much, you know what I mean? It's like, for some people, they might get annoyed with uh, the new Lost Realm adjustments. I'm kind of okay with it, I guess, you know. So, happy days. All right, and cheers, guys.